Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs and back to our file handling series. Today I'm going to talk about very simple topic and very important for interview point of view and you can use in your uh, uh, project as well. You have to create a file in your operating system either in your C drive or D drive or anywhere using simple file object using file output stream and using Java Neo utilities. How will you do that? So very simple. So let's see, this is a path that I have taken. Go to Naveen downloads folder and under download folder, we have this file handle folder is available. I want to create this sample.txt file. For example, if you, I'll show you practically. See, this is my downloads folder and go to file handle and this folder is totally blank. And I want to create a new file over here, right? How will you do that? Remember this thing that if you're using in Windows machine, in Windows, the path will be slightly different. For example, like this, see, colon backslash you have to use. And let's see, users, see. So you have to use backslash over here for Windows. And for Mac, you have to use it like that. Now, I'm just very simple. Just create the object of file class is equal to new file and pass the path over here. The same path, you can pass it. And this file, you have to import from java.io. With the help of this particular file reference, there is a method the method name is create new file. Remember this method name, very straightforward. And this guy will give you one suggestion that add a throws declaration or surround by try catch. So for file handling, I will always prefer surround by try catch so that we can see that what kind of exception, IO exception is coming over here inside the catch. So this file dot create new file method is giving you what Boolean. If the file is created, it will give you true. Otherwise it will give you false. So can I store inside the Boolean variable? So let's see Boolean, I maintain some flag over here like this. And I do one thing. I'll just put a condition over here that if the flag is a true or false, if flag is true, then I simply write system dot out dot println. I write file is created. If it is false, it means I simply write system dot out dot println. Something like this, I'll be printing it on the console. Okay, so very simple. Only this particular method, you have to use it which will return boolean and put your if else condition just to check file got created or not. And you can see in my file handle, it's a blank folder and I'm going to run this program and we will see sample.txt file over here. So let's right click on it and run as Java application. And it's saying file got created and let's cross check. You can see sample.txt file got created. Although we have not written anything in this particular file, but you can see sample.txt file will be created with zero bytes. A simple file got created. Now, if you run this program once again, file which is already available, so what will happen? This guy will give you false. It will not create a new file once again because the, in the same directory, file is already available. So this will be false. It will come inside the else part and it's saying file is already present. So let's run it again and let's see. So here you can see file is already present and it will not create a new file over here because this file is already available. Remember this thing, a very simple straightforward method. So this is the first way of doing it using file. Now let's see the second way. The second way is that we can use here file output stream class. Okay. And a file output stream, you can use it along with, let's say I'm using a scanner class also because I want to enter some content and the content should come from the file name and the content of the file should come from the user. So I'm going to use the scanner file over here. So we know that a scanner file is used to take the input from the command line from the user. So I simply write scanner class object. I'm going to use it. Okay. And I simply write as a parameter system dot in over here. And this scanner you have to import from Java dot util package. Remember this thing. And after that, I'll print a message over here that system dot out dot print ln that uh, enter the file name with with path that which file in which path location that you want to create. So I simply say enter the file name with location. This is what I'm going to ask from the user like that. Okay. And then whatever the user is giving, I'll be storing inside my sc dot next. Uh, sc dot next line I'll be storing with the help of next line whatever I'm, we are getting from the user and storing in a particular uh, variable for example that uh, 
this is my file name which is equal to this okay so user will tell me this is the file name and i'll store it in this particular file name variable now after that i have to create the object of file output stream so simple create file uh, output stream class object and let's see i'm just going to file output stream fos is equal to new file output stream and then here you have to pass what so here actually there are two constructors guys you can use it file output stream is having see this one this one file object and uh, a boolean append so i want to append the file from the previous content so let's see the whatever the file object that you have already uh, uh, created so which file this is the file name that i want to pass so this is a file name and append your simple pass true over here okay and then it will give you one suggestion that add a uh, throws declaration so i'll do one thing for the entire this try i'll just add it over here for the entire block and so that it will not give you suggestions again now once this file output stream class object got created after that what we have to do after that we have to ask for the content so i simple say system dot out of pre uh, print ln i simple say that uh, enter the file content what exactly you want to enter in this particular file and then again sc dot uh, next line i'll be using it storing in this particular new variable let's see this is my uh, content variable whatever the content i'm reading it from the user store in this particular content variable and then this content variable i'll be using see this carefully dot converting into a get bytes so i'm getting the bytes one by one and this get bytes will give you what byte array so i'll just do one thing i'll simple store inside the byte array let's see byte array b which is equal to this right and then after that with the help of file output stream because file output stream will work on the bytes that's why we have to convert into bytes over here with the help of get bytes and then we have to do what we have to write the content see that's why it's say, saying give me the byte array so that's why we are using get bytes over here and this is the b that we have to pass so what exactly it will do it will write the content in the form of bytes in that particular file and after that we have to close the stream also okay just simple close the file after that and uh, i simple print a message over here after that system dot out print ln that uh, file is saved okay on the given location path something like this let's see i am printing it if any kind of exception is coming i'll come inside the catch block and i'll write system dot out print ln i simple write uh, some exception is coming and on which line i just simple print the stack trace over here like that okay so this is a simple code that we have to use it now let me run it and let's see it is working or not so location and all everything will be given by at the runtime by the user so let's run as java application see it's asking for the enter the file name over here enter the file name with the location path so let's see i'm just going to give the file name a new file name in my file handle folder sample.txt is already available so i simple say that uh, file handle and let's see simple create naveen.txt file okay and it's saying enter the file content i simple say this is naveen automation labs with file handling uh, code practice or code or something like this okay it's saying file is saved on the given location path awesome so i'll simple go there can you see that naveen.txt is available and you open this file and you will see this is naveen automation labs with file handling code whatever the content that we have provided from the user side will be added will be written over here very simple i would always prefer this method to create a file and then enter the content also along with that so in this case you can use file output stream okay now the last one is that is you can use that for with java neo package apis so java neo uh, provides certain apis that is after java.io they have given java neo also so there is a class paths dot paths is a class and dot get method is there and get method is saying what this get method is saying you give me the file path 
So for example, let's see, I'm giving the file path as uh, till here file handle and uh, whatever the file that you want to create. So let's see, I simple say new uh, file dot text file that I want to create. Okay, so it will create the path instance and then get method will give you what can you see that it's giving you one path reference over here. So can I store inside the path reference? So let's see, I simple say that uh, path a location is equal to this. Okay, and this path guys see, we have to import from Java dot Neo dot file. And this paths also it's coming actually coming from Neo package Java dot Neo package. Okay, so this is a path location, let's see that I have created first. And then there is one more file that is called there is one more class files class a dot the same method that is called create file see create directory create direct, a file create link parent directory everything you can do with the neo package also i simply write create file method and it's saying that uh, a second attribute we can no need to pass what exactly the path location so let's see this is my path location so the file now will be created and after that it will give you one suggestion that add throws declaration so i'll do one thing this entire thing i'll write inside a try catch block and i simple write catch over here and i simple let's see, just call like this so files dot create file what exactly it will give you files dot create file once again it will give you path variable over here so i simple let's see store inside a new path variable let's see p path is equal to this I think path we have already taken. Let me take something else. Let's see um, new path. Okay. And when you get this particular new path, that's it. After that, you simple write system dot out dot print ln, and I'll simple write that uh, new file created at where at this particular new path. So I just want to print the path over here on the console. Right. That's it. Only three lines of code. Only two lines of coding exactly. So let me do one thing. Let me just system dot out print ln. Let me put a separator over here and let me run the code once again. Okay. So when we run the code again, we have to enter the uh, user streams and everything. Uh, so I'll do one thing. This code, I'm just going to comment it out. I don't want to create again and again. And uh, let's run it. again. Okay. So it's saying new file got created under file handle new file dot txt. Awesome. And then uh, this output, the first one file is already present. It is coming actually because of the first option, because this file is already present over here, sample.txt. So we are not bothered about the first option now. And I'll physically go and check it over there that got created or not. So I'll go to downloads and uh, go to file handle and see what is the file name, new file.txt that we have created over here, right? Obviously it's a blank one. Later on, if you really want to use that, you can use file input, file output stream to write the content over there like that. So these are the three ways of creating a file and writing the content with the help of file output stream. Remember this thing, very famous interview question. People might ask you at a time of interview. Let me just uncomment this thing. I'll do one thing. I'll upload this entire code, whatever we are doing so far. I'll be uploading in the Git repository and I'll be sharing the link in the description box. In the first comment also, you can check it and you can uh, use this code over here. So that's all for this particular video guys. In the next video, I'll tell you how to delete a file, how to update a file, how to retrieve the file content and everything. I'll tell you in the next video. Till then, take care and uh, please subscribe to the channel. Let me know if you have any issues. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye guys.